personally i can give my testimony i got a job through an agency it was able to place me to an employer and i relocated i worked as a pre-registered nurse i pursued my oski exam when i was here and passed so that is the route that i used to come to uk so anyway so you continue once you do that you're ready to go so if you get an employer please 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 negotiate from the word go are they accepting you to relocate with your family are they giving you a provision for accommodation and I want to welcome you into another video today where we will be discussing on how a nurse or a midwife who has been trained abroad can be able to come and work in the UK. This is a video where it's going to enlighten people on the process on how to do and I'm going to give also my practical examples because I'm a nurse who was trained in Kenya who works now in the UK. I'm going to start off by saying you're really welcome and thank you nice seeing you here in this video. You have to be trained first in your country of origin if you want to come and work as a nurse unless you want to be to come and be trained in the UK to become a nurse if you've been trained already in your country this is the people that we are aiming to talk to today to encourage them because there are some people who would like to relocate one you must have qualified with at least a diploma in nursing and this nursing it could be maybe in children that is pediatric nursing it would be in any other specialty it would be in the icu endoscopy all the other specialty in nursing theater all those specialty as long as you have a diploma it will just be even general nursing or it may be even a diploma in midwifery you can be able to apply you're qualified to apply if you have worked for at least two years in your country of origin where you're coming from so there are going to be some specific questions maybe that i may not be able to know according to other special specialities of different countries so i'm going to be speaking this from a mind of a kenyan trained nurse because that's how i am very sure of the process so you must have qualified with a diploma as the basic um, certificate that you have it can go to bachelor's that is first degree nursing or second degree in master's or phd level as long as it is not below diploma number two you must have worked for at least two years since the year you qualified in your country that is the entry uh, requirement by the nursing nurses and midwives uh, council of uk in short it's called nmc it is the one that that is the requirement another requirement that is required is you must pass your english test international english testing systems ielts language systems yeah let me come again international english testing uh, of languages system ielts that is the one that you're supposed to pass and it is basically your guide to do we have an academic one that is for people who are coming to work or people who are coming to study and we also have a, one that is for general for general is people who are maybe like joining their spouses and such and the requirement is slightly low so please when you go to do for these exams just know that it is important for you to check according to the requirements you do the english test that is that is the one that for academic and in this english test it is checking on the proficiency on how you can be able to speak how you can be able to to uh, listen to english how you can be able to read and how you can be able to write those are the four parameters definitely because in your interactions as you're continuing to work you need those areas to be able to speak to people to be able to read what is written to be able to write as well and to be able to listen to what people are speaking so once you pass that there will be the requirement now for your nursing council of your country whichever country you're coming from to be able to qualify your papers and be able to say yes yes this is our nurse they qualified and they've been practicing you know you do not have maybe like any legal cases on you you've not done any malpractice so they are able to send your papers for example in kenya you go to the nursing council of kenya and uh, they check on the details and the documents and they realize that yeah you're good to go they are there's going to be a fee to that as they work through your papers you know because of working through your papers checking on all that and the requirement is for the nursing council to send nursing council of your original country for example nursing council of kenya had to send my papers to the nurses and midwifery 
Nurses and Midwives Council of UK, that is NMC. They are the ones who sent. You just pay, you're given a number. Then after that, you follow up with the NMC here in the UK and they give you a personal identification number. This number, you'll be quoting it every time when you call them. You'll be quoting and saying it's a very long number. I think there were 15 numbers or it's just a long one. You'll be, you need to write it down because every time you call, maybe when you're uh, pursuing your process, whether you, you're successful or what, whether there's any other thing that is required, you need to call. And they'll be able to ask what your pin number or personal identification number and you'll give out that number the goodness with this is i found it very seamless because you do not need to uh worry about your registration though you, anybody who picks up your number though they try to assign i think that office i found it very easy because they'll be picking it and continuing with your story you don't need to repeat a lot so other documents also that because of your our training differences and hours they have hours that they require you to have uh, completed in different modules in nursing you know be it like uh, the physiology uh, midwife maybe processes in labor or anything child care baby care anything that they want or surgical hours or medical hours what they do is they will want a, an academic transcript from your college so they will send you uh, they will have asked for that so that they can be able to ascertain whether the hours that you were trained in your original country are equal to the expectation of their NMC here in UK. So you ask for those papers, sometimes they'll have a misspelt of names and then you have to go back and check on the name. So this what happens is this process, you need to be very patient because sometimes it might take longer than any other person because every case is different. Maybe they need to return uh, a question to you and ask you, oh, confirm this. Like I know someone whose name were not agreeing what was on the certificate and what was on their passport, just so many things. So I think to my, my thinking, when you're doing these processes, it's good for you to continue keeping your jobs because some people may even within six months succeed. Some people may be one year. Some people even, I know someone who came within three months. So anyway, after that, the papers are okay. Now you need to do... Um, to get to do the next step, which is an exam that is required in this country by the nurses. It's like the final one, it's called OSCE. And this exam is not very cheap. Uh, it's a couple of hundred of pounds. I think it is uh, 500 pounds for that test. And uh, if you repeat again, you may need to pay. Please check on the website for nurse, Nurses and Midwives Council in the UK to see the current prices or cost for the exams because I know they keep on changing. I might not re remember what it is now, but in our times we paid for that. Yeah. Then when you come here, we have a few centers that are authorized to do that uh, exam. It's a practical exam whereby you appear and uh, be given different scenarios and you manage them and you write their care plan, such a thing. So when you come here, you'll do that test and within actually less than 36 hours, they'll send back to you the results. And once you get the practicing number, it's called P number, you become a qualified nurse and you practice. Yeah, some people prefer to come and work here, uh, get a job, come and work as a pre-registered nurse as you're continuing to earn some money. Because as I'm saying, sometimes that money is quite a lot. Uh, or if you are able financially, you can also leave your country. Uh, you pay for your air ticket, you book your exam, you come and do, then you go back to your country. And uh, when you pass, now you can relocate. So it's, it's upon you. Personally, I can give my testimony. I got a job through an agency. It was able to place me to an employer and I relocated. I worked as a pre-registered nurse. I pursued my OSCE exam when I was here and passed. So that is the route that I used to come to UK. So anyway, so you continue. Once you do that, you're ready to go just when you're negotiating because this video was generated by some videos that i talked about relocation so for the relocation if you get an employer please 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 negotiate from the word go are they accepting you to relocate with your family are they giving you a provision for accommodation i'm going to pin those videos for you to see on how to prepare for you to relocate because for example if you're coming with your family are they going to uh, be in also paid for are you going to pay for it helps you to plan so once you relocate you come here you're able to know which area you're going to according to your employer i'm going to put a disclaimer here i do not recruit people 
for relocation. This is point of sharing information just to help people to know because once I shared about the relocation, many people have been interested in getting onto my DM to ask me to help them with relocation. Unfortunately, I do not. I'm not a travel agent. I'm not an agent to help people. But look out there and I wish you all the best. You will be able to get that. Uh, another thing that I can be able to say is when you're getting ready, get ready with your documents. Get ready, start negotiating, start looking out and be positive, be positive. And even before relocation, calculate well, plan well. I'll peg in those uh, videos on how to. So I spoke majorly about nurses because I am a nurse practicing in the UK. That is why on top of my mind, I wanted to discuss about nurses because it's easy. It's a process I went through and it's what I know. But on the other hand, I would like to mention that healthcare in general, it's one of the jobs that are available. It's one of the jobs that are still needed for staffing and human resource. So in case you're, a, for example, a medical doctor, please check on the website, check on the requirements. I know there's also a test for the doctors that you need to do. Some people will do it when they are still practicing in their uh, home countries. Some will come here. I know I met a doctor who had come only to do that exam and went back to his country to continue wrapping up and waiting for the results and everything. So also medical doctors, feel free, go onto the website and always check on the official uh, government websites for whatever organization you want. This is to try, to try and avoid as much as you can for scammers. You know, scammers can really give you premium cheers when you're looking for a job. Sometimes you're desperate, you're not checking on all the areas. Please check. Check so that you're not scammed and so that you can get it real. Physiotherapists as well. Radiotherapists also, they are required in the medical profession. Uh, occupation therapists also. Nutritionists, social workers, people who have been able to do social working. Nurses, including community health. You know, sometimes we forget we have community health nurse, uh, nurses. We have the home visiting nurses. We have doctors also with specialities. Even some of them are already uh, consultants in the areas, be it of uh, gynecologists or pediatrics or even surgeons, lab technicians also, medical laboratory, anything that is in the healthcare, please, there are opportunities. If you've been having a desire, please go to the government uh, and the official websites. You'll be able to get, and once you pick it up, the, when they ask you for documentation, because sometimes it sounds as if it is nagging. No, it is not nagging. The standards here, they want to compare with your standards because every country has a different standard. It's not that some countries are better than others, but every registrate, registrating body um, has its own uh, directives and its own standards. Do not get back down. Whatever they are asking you for the papers, be it a doctor, a nurse, all those other categories, physiotherapists, do not feel like it's an act. It's because they can't register you without knowing whether you are meeting their standards. So you pursue and keep on pursuing. It might be a slow process to some others faster, depending on how uh, the documents maybe are. But feel free to pursue. It's a country whereby you can be able to come the goodness is everything is in the open everything is in the light the governance i found it very easy and very simple and you can be able to keep on asking inquiring if it is a no you be told no and that's it you can be told maybe go and add one more maybe paper or maybe 20 hours your deficit of 20 hours of this uh area that we require you or they can tell you yes you're qualified some of those things you will be learning as you continue practicing it is not maybe like a major requirement but all major requirements in case they tell you no you've not been qualified that is the procedure that is the standard that is set i want to wish you all the best as you continue pursuing and once you get an employer what did we say now get on to your contractual and negotiations with the employer before you travel do these things when you're back at home know how much they are going to be paying you know uh, what other benefits do you have including annual leave including hiring and firing terms including traveling are they going maybe to pay for your visa and then you refund them or is it for free are they paying your ticket or not you know all those tidbits and then check on your documents as well about your uh, passport everybody the names are the names agreeing we don't until when you're applying is when you're told oh your name is missing a certain letter maybe just be due diligence and we wish you all the best and we hope to see you in your country of desire where you want to travel but here in the uk checking the healthcare is on top of the ones that i know for sure 
it has many vacancies and is still recruiting abroad do you have any question i hope you do not have any question because this was basically to make nurses and midwives who would like to relocate to come to the uk to come and work from any other abroad countries having been trained there to know yes it is possible and it is doable but you need to do the process due diligence and it is very flawless as long as you are qualified as long as they, you are in agreement with the academic papers and the requirements they are asking you for you'll be able to be assisted i found it an easy step any other nurse who has experiences on relocation you can share on the comment section let's help people who would like to relocate because some people are ready and they do not know or they feel like oh i was trained abroad i may not make it any nurse who've been trained uh, abroad and came to work in the uk or any other actually country be it us be it canada be it australia wherever and you would like to help any other nurse feel free comment in our comment section continue to share uh, our videos continue to like we want to thank you for all our subscribers if you haven't kindly subscribe and let us make our karaoke moments big family we love you remember life is a journey walk in it continue sharing experiences and we continue to make this world a better place let's have positive vibes god bless you